It's harvest time on this week's Weekly Kingdom Outlook. We're going to have fun. Let's go. Hey folks, Apostle Lewis here with you. And let me just take care of this in the beginning. Uh, thegatechurch.locals.com. Please, 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 please go there and create a profile and just join the community. You don't have to be on the paid side. Just join the community. Help me build that up. If you would, it will extremely, extremely help me and bless me. It's free. I do a lot of these. I do videos just for that platform that you'll get. So go ahead and do that. That would be a real blessing. Um, I want to talk about... Um, Oh, and then you could always go to lewisdsand.com. Become a member, uh, become a partner if you want. Uh, you can do that. That would be awesome um, if you want to do that. Uh, you don't have to, but again, you want to bless. I, I tell you what, what God has me doing now. I need some partners. I need a lot of partners actually, um, so that we can win souls. So we can do that. So, let's talk today. Let's talk about uh, Sunday, August twenty second. The Lord, you know, gave me a word. I spoke it, and it's something that is difficult for people. I believe in reformation. I believe that God is reforming the church. And I think one of the things that the church got away from, um, heavily got away from, was soul winning. You know, we have a whole society of, of uh, Christians, uh, or let's say of children, who really don't know the Lord. We have a, a youth problem where they don't know Jesus. We have a parental problem where... The parents aren't even really after, you know, I mean, I, I sometimes watch parents go, well, my kids like, you know, my kids like that church. And and that, and I get that. Um, we never had that problem with our kids. You know why? Because our kids got it in our house. So church was never to them. Matter of fact, my kids always served the church. My kids have always served in the church. Like they've always had to do the, they were pastor's kids. Guess what they got to do? They always had to minister. They had to put up with kids going through their stuff in their rooms that were they weren't supposed to, but kids would sneak off. Parents wouldn't watch them. They go in our house. They 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 would always have to do that. And our kids grew up with a uh, a real ability to tolerate some of that stuff, you know. And it was never about our kids, you know, at church. You know, it was about the Lord, and we always trained them that was about the Lord. But in our home, they got. They knew it was about them, about the Lord, about everything. We worked really hard on family. So our kids never need to go to church to be wanted, to be entertained. None of that. And uh, even though probably when they got older, they liked some of that, we would tell them, go to go to the youth outreach at a big church where there's a lot of your friends. And they did. They would go to Thursday night you know, youth meeting or something like that. And I said, go. That doesn't offend me. Go. And uh, because there's that, your, your kids develop that social network. Uh, as they get around 13, 14, 15 years old. And that, that's an important network of friends. My kids, uh, I'll tell you what, my kids are always talking to people in a way about Jesus because they see the they see the other side and go, no, like Jesus is it. And uh, Jessica's, uh, you know, my little minister on text message to friends, you know, always trying to point them to Christ. And um, so I, I want to talk about this. Um, I believe there's a reformation. And you know, when I prophesy, I don't prophesy. I don't go, thus saith the Lord, I'm not doing that. I believe there's a reformation upon the church. And that reformation must start with the apostles and prophets. You know, 20 years ago, it was about schools. It was about training and equipping. And we're not stopping that. But we forgot about the harvest, we forgot about the harvest as apostles and prophets. So what we wanted to just attract people that were already saved. And, you know, there's a problem with that is that a lot of the Christians that sometimes I have to deal with in schools, I have to unlearn them from so much stuff they got for 10, 15 years at another church that that's slower. But there's a reformation coming where we all have to go from understand from the out, outer court of the temple all the way to the inner court. So our roles in that, but everyone must be, all the apostles and prophets need to know, we need to be about souls. 
We need it because you'll see every apostle was about souls. Every apostle was about souls. And sometimes I see apostles and prophets. Uh, that's not my thing. Stop saying that. It might not have been your thing. It's going to become your thing. I don't mean that you have to go out and start an evangelistic crusade. That's not what I'm talking about. Stop that imagination. But are you focused about bringing souls in the kingdom? And I'm talking about overtly bringing souls in the kingdom. I'm not talking about doing that at your work. At work, you might have to be covert operations. Because you're there, by the way, you're there to work. You're not there to evangelize. So you bring that flavor. But I'm talking about, are you about souls? Are you about winning souls? Are you about converting souls? Are you about filling up souls? Are you about equipping souls? All those things. Sometimes evangelists doesn't care about equipping. They care about the number. You know, we had this many. Okay? And they care about that more than they care about the equipping, the baptism. You know, I mean, fire, all, all that stuff. They don't care. We There needs to be a reformation where we understand that from the outer court to the most holy place, we all have to be involved somewhere. We have to have this... Uh, understanding that when someone gets born again, they need to be water baptized. They need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and baptized in fire. They need to learn the prophetic and the apostolic. They need to learn how to operate in the holy place, the most holy place. They need to know what the presence of God is. They need all that. And sometimes ministries stop short because that's their ministry. Let's just say there's some ministries that after you get baptized, there's no discussion of the Holy Spirit. There's no discussion of speaking in tongues. There's no discussion. And they stop there. That's equally as wrong as people only talking about you know, the most holy place in the sense of how do you, what about the lost soul? Can you talk about the cross? Can you, can you get someone to the cross? There's going to be a reformation. There's going to be a, I've been talking about this for 20 years about all working together. And this reformation is upon us. It's upon us. This reformation of us all understanding, not just our roles, but stop limiting ourselves to roles. Remember, in Matthew 10, it was Jesus who sent out. He look at this is this is. I'm an apostle, and I'm not going to make any bones about it. You don't like it? I don't care. If you think it's a title? Then don't ask me to lay hands on you because I can't impart a title. But if you want what's on my life and you don't want to recognize that I'm an apostle, then you're not going to get what I have. You know, if I don't recognize Charlie Shemp as a prophet, I'm not going to get what Charlie has. If I don't recognize Bill Johnson as an apostle, which the Lord told me in 2007, I'm not going to get what's on his life. Stop reducing God's gift to the body, the fivefold ministries, what he says they are. Jesus says they're gifts to men, gift to the church. Do not reduce those to a title because someone said it and then you kind of, you know, yeah, it's a title. That's just jealousy. You wouldn't believe how much stuff, doctrine comes out of jealousy. We need to value and honor the evangelist, the teacher, the pastors who are on the front lines who get beat up every single day, by the way. Every single day they get beat up. you got to understand the prophets who do warfare, the apostles who uh, get afflicted for the church. The afflictions of the apostles are real. Sometimes that affliction is you lose the people around you. Sometimes that's the afflictions. I've been shot. Sometimes that's the afflictions. you got to understand these roles and stop stop with the competition. Stop with the, 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 the but, you know, people, if you want something in my life and you don't recognize who I am, when I was going to get ordained, go get hands laid on by Bill Johnson, the Lord said, you better receive the apostle, name an apostle. Bill did not mention himself as an apostle in heaven, uh, heaven Invades Earth. And so what I did was I went, all right, Lord, then I want five. I want him to lay hands on me five times. What if I didn't honor Bill that way? Would I have gotten what I got? No. See, Scripture says the level of you honor, the level which you honor is the level which you receive. If you receive a man as a righteous man, that's all you get is a righteous man's reward. It's good. It's not the same as a prophet's reward. It's not the same as an apostle's reward. It's not the same as an evangelist's reward. Not the same as a teacher's reward. Not the same as a pastor's reward. By the way, the apostle is not the greatest of them all. That's, that's, that's part of the issue, is every apostle thinks he's over everybody. That's 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 part of the problem, I think, that we're having there with that. So it's in Matthew 10 that he calls 12 people and he calls them 
apostles. <clears throat> when Jesus called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits, cast them out to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. And he names them. And he tells them, and the, these 12 Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, do not go. He says, but go rather to the lost ship of Israel. What are they supposed to do? He said, as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Now, he is going to the lost sheep of Israel. There's a reason why Jesus was originally, you know, Israel first, the Jew first, and the Gentile. Okay? And... He gives that. Then he calls the 70 to him. Now, these are not the apostles. These are 70 others that he calls. Okay? And it says, after these things, this is Luke 10, after these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also. Now, they're not apostles. And he sent them two by two before his face in every city place where he himself was about to go. Then he said to them, the harvest is truly great. But the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, or, nor sandals. And, and greet no one along the road. And then he goes into when they come back. He says, I saw Satan fall like lightning. You know... Well, that's powerful. You know what that context was in? That context was in, listen, that context was in power evangelism. The apostles, power evangelism. Paul tells Timothy to do the work of an evangelist. You know, we... We have a problem um, 2 Timothy 4 or 5 but you be watchful in all things endure afflictions, that's the apostle do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry there's an apostle an apostolic reformation that's coming an apostolic reformation of souls And I'm all in. I am all in. And I am going to conduct myself with the thought process of how can I bring more souls into the kingdom and learn, use all the tools I have of equipping, teaching, training to help them do that. In this season, that's going to be the apostolic ministry. The apostolic ministry in the past was on target. It's just, it's not what God's doing today. See, God is restoring that, that, you know, we always say we want, we all, you know, we always say we want the power of acts. Why don't we have like the, you know, first century power. Okay. Well, we got to understand what that requires. Apostles that went out to preach the gospel. Now, they weren't serving tables anymore, but they were winning lost. See, they never stopped healing the sick and all that stuff. That was all part of preaching the gospel. But you know what we've gone into? We've gone into, invite me to your church. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. Invite me to your church. But we've forgotten the other half of it is going out as apostles and going out and, and winning souls. I'm so, so hungry right now for the souls of the kingdom to come in. Souls of the kingdom to come in. The souls of the kingdom to come in. Souls, Jesus, souls, Jesus, souls. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. And I hear what he's doing in the earth. And I'm waking up with it. I'm going to bed with it. Not just with the Lord, but with him talking to me about souls. I'm all in. I'm all in on souls. That's why I love Rodney Howard Brown. That's why I love Rodney Howard Brown.
souls. That's why I love Todd Bentley, souls. I love that when we're after souls, not just after meetings. I'm not interested in just doing meetings. I'm going to do meetings. I'm not interested in just doing meetings. I'm interested in souls. And I'm going to train and equip as many as that want to be for souls. Listen up for some announcements on some training days where we're going to train in the morning. Just have us a meeting. We're going to pray. We're going to talk. And then we're going to send you out. And then I want you to come back and I want to catch your testimonies. I want to hear what the Lord did with you that day. I want to hear about the souls that you led to Christ that day. I want to hear and I want to have the testimonies captured that you led people to Christ. Amen. 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 That's what I, I believe the Lord's doing that. And this context of Satan falling like lightning is found in the context of preaching the gospel of the kingdom and power evangelism. It's not in the context of a church meeting. It's not in the context of a prayer meeting. By the way, do not think that that means none of those are important. I believe in prayer. Matter of fact, I believe that those of you that teach on prayer are going to be mightily needed in these days to help people with that. See, all the things that we have accumulated in our knowledge base and our is for this hour. I don't know if it's the last days. I uh, I, I sit there and 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 go. I've been I've been in so much of the mode set for twenty years that my last days are now, anyways. So I am just going to sit there and do whatever the Lord says and give my life to it and. But I do believe there's a harvest. Now, Bob Jones talked about the end time harvest, but he also talked about year 2060 and said Jesus isn't coming back before that. Now, if that's true, I'll be 95 in 2060. So I got a, I got a, I've got a short period of time here. I've got about 40 years to get busy and to fulfill everything on my life. That's if I live to 95. Ah. Uh. Come on, folks. If you're if you're if you want to be a part of this apostolic reformation and be part of winning souls, just email me or put something in the comment. And um, but um, you know what? You can email me at souls, s o u l s souls at lewisdcana.com. Just say I want to be a part of this souls.lewisdcana.com and uh, so I can have a database and I can send you out information because in about a month we're going to start training, equipping and sending people out and maybe in Jacksonville you want to be a part of that but let me tell you something if it's around the country let me know because with Todd and Revival Harvest America I'm going to be doing many training around the country Amen? Amen So you want to be a part of that, let me know. Souls, dot, souls at lewisdcna.com. Amen. God bless you, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.